Peace YouTube. How y'all doing? That's good, that's good, that's good. Hey. <laughs> I have nothing in particular. Oops, sorry. Moving the laptop around. I have nothing in particular that I actually want to talk about. I'm just making a video. I was sitting here watching videos and I figured I need to make a video. It's been a week or so. I need to become more consistent. I don't know why anybody would even subscribe to me because I'm like so random and if I feel like doing a video I'll do one if I don't so be it but yeah what's been going on real shut up <laughs> I'm thinking my friend she um we had a meeting because we're doing a national um national meetup National National Natural Hair Meetup Day, May 19th, here in Columbus, and we had um, met up to see what exactly we wanted to do and who would get to come and speak, where we would have it at, and stuff like that. She's like, I just can't do YouTube. I can't just talk to a camera. I'm like, I'm not talking to a camera. I got subbies. People actually want to watch me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Anywho. Let me talk about something before y'all click up off me. Um, let's talk about work. Because I was upset. I got off work at 6 o'clock and it is now like 8 o'clock. 8.16 actually. I got off of work at 6 o'clock and I was still upset at Riot. I'm already home trying to figure out what I'm going to cook for dinner and unwind. And I'm like, why am I upset at this girl? I'm calling her a girl. She's a woman, but she acts like a girl talking about a co-worker yes everybody has that one co-worker or it could be a supervisor it could even be your director or I don't know everybody has that one at work that they just want to take one hand take the other hand and connect and just you know just make an ugly face and let all that aggression out <laughs> No, but seriously, I just, I cannot stomach the fact that you're working in a social service agency. My agency, I won't disclose too much, but my agency assists people who are going through hard times. That could be any social service agency. I don't want to disclose where I work at, but yeah. And when you think that you're, a, you're superior than the client's, you never know what can make a turn in your life that you could be coming in through our agency's doors needing the assistance that we give to other people. You never know when you might need the counseling, the, the community resources that we offer. You never know what can happen. So when you sit there and downgrade and talk down to clients and just belittle people as if they're not human going through life, just basic life. People fall upon hard times, people fall upon depression and I'm trying to think of some things that I dealt with today but I'll be disclosing too much. Um, you, you just never know. So when I address my coworker and ask her for just a simple answer to a question and you snap an attitude and you got the neck to roll in and uh, oh no I hope the client don't think he gonna come up here today and gonna get something but you ain't called me you ain't returned none of my phone calls or my emails or you know you don't know what the client was going through maybe their phone was cut off maybe they didn't have access to an email Maybe we have the wrong address on file for them. You never know. <laughs> like Everybody's entitled to a bad day. But when you have bad days, weeks, months, years, where this, this anger is just like a bubble surrounding you. You just walk around like an a angry blob. That, oh, it's so draining to work in such a close quarters with someone like that. It is like really 
draining. <sighs> I know I'm not touching on half of the things that I could touch on, but I never know who will see my videos, and I just want to know how you guys deal with that one co-worker, or two or three, or all of them, the whole office, I don't know, <laughs> but I am so easy to get along with, it's just some people, you, you can't get along with everybody, but some people just really get under your skin and just, uh, <laughs> just, ah, <sighs> yeah, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with the co-worker that just, that you just cannot stomach? Give me some feedback. Talk to me, people, because I, I, I want to not be the co-worker that just avoids, like, doing the Heisman on her, like, do the Heisman on No, I don't want to be like that, but sometimes you just got to just stray away because your negativity could be contagious and I'm all positive over here I just I can't do that so leave me down below some of your suggestions on how to deal with in a professional setting let me say that in a professional setting how to deal with someone who is unprofessional in a professional manner if that makes any sense and I want to thank my new subscribers. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, y'all. I got a giveaway coming up. I ordered some things from um, a co-worker that I want to give away. So once we reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. I don't know what yet because who knows when I make it to 200. It might be three years from now if I'm still doing video. I don't know. I'm so random. But, yeah, look out for a giveaway coming up soon. And that's it. Good night, y'all. Leave me some comments. I don't know what to do with her other than strangler. All right.